Hey everybody, I'm in New York right now. It's cold as hell, man. There was a snowstorm yesterday, so the whole city is covered in snow right now. So anyway, I'm in New York because Huawei and Xiaomi each held private events to show off its new phones to, to a small group of journalists. So now these are separate events. It's not like Huawei and Xiaomi are working together. Two different events. And if you follow smartphone news, you know what these phones are. It's the Huawei P20 Pro and the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S. So I already played with the Huawei P20 Pro. I have a video on that coming up soon. But the first video, as the title already gave away, it's this one and it's on the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S. So right now I have Nova Launch on this phone. If you're wondering why the software looks a little bit different from typical Xiaomi phones. You know, I I don't have a problem with Mi UI. I just like Nova Launch a little bit better. A Mi UI is fine, I don't hate it. So look at the front of the phone. It looks very familiar to the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. In fact, it looks almost exactly the same aside from the fact that the earpiece is a little bit larger on the 2S. Xiaomi says phone calls will now be louder and more clear. Otherwise, you still have the same 5.99 inch, basically six inch LCD display with a 1080p resolution and a still mostly bezel-less design. Although this chin, it's now looking kind of big in 2018. When the phone first came out last year, it was a little bit more impressive. Now it looks a little bit large. So now granted, this is a white phone. So the bezels look quite noticeable right now. If you get the black color and you get a darker wallpaper, it looks a lot more immersive. So the difference to the phone's um, appearance this year, it's on the back. You see right here, dual cameras. The Mi Mix 2 only had a single camera on the back. So you have, both of these are 12 megapixel sensors. One is a telephoto, one is a standard wide angle lens. So this is the same setup as in the Xiaomi Mi 6, but the camera here has obviously been improved. It's a newer Sony sensor, IMX363, and it has 1.4 micron, so that's a larger pixel size. Other than that, um, you're not gonna see much difference between this and the Meme Mi Mix 2. It's almost the exact same hardware. It feels exactly the same. The phone still has a ceramic back. Oh, but Xiaomi also gave this phone wireless charging. So the Mi Mix 2S supports wireless charging. That's impressive considering the new Huawei phone that I'm about to show you in a couple of hours don't support wireless charging. So this phone also got that processor bump that you'd expect. Now inside is a Snapdragon 845 instead of the 835 last year. The 845 is the newest chip and this phone is super, super powerful. So I just ran um, PC Mark earlier and it scored at 8,132. That's freaking amazing. That's like the best score I've seen yet actually. If you remember the Vivo V9 I tested a couple of days ago, that phone scored a 4,900. A Huawei Mate 10 Pro scored about a 7,500. And even the Samsung Galaxy S9, which I have a screenshot here, only scored a 7,401. So at least if you go by benchmarks on PC Mark, this is the most powerful phone yet. That's because Snapdragon 845 with eight gigs of RAM. That's a powerful setup. So this display still looks pretty nice, even though it's not an OLED panel, it's an LCD panel. You see viewing angles are very good. Let me find a picture of more color. See, so you see there's not much color shift. It's a very bright panel. Still looks very impressive, even though it's not an OLED display. Okay, so might as well do the video test right now. So the Mi Mix 2S has stereo speakers. You have sound coming out from the bottom speaker grill and the earpiece actually. So right now it's 50% volume. So the speaker sounds good. 50% volume, it's loud, it's clear. You can actually hear the bass. Let's go up to 100% volume. Okay, so 100% volume is actually really loud. See, so even if you cover the bottom speaker, you can still hear sound coming out here very nicely. And you can now fill up the YouTube video to stretch the whole display too. So this is a pretty good phone for media consumption. So that's about it for the hardware changes. Everything else is the same. There's eight gigs of RAM in there, so a little bit more RAM. Uh, battery size is the same, 3,450 milliamp. That would definitely be enough to last a whole day considering Xiaomi software is very good 
at saving battery. A little bit too aggressive, to be honest. Sometimes it kills my notifications, and the display is only a 1080p panel. But that's not all that's new to this phone. So Xiaomi added a new AI software to this phone. Now I know, I know, every freaking phone company advertises they have AI now. The term is almost like completely overkill, but I have faith in Xiaomi because I actually tested the phone. It seems to be pretty good. So Xiaomi says that all the AI, it goes into the camera. What it does is it helps the, the dual camera kind of produce a more superior bokeh shot because the camera can recognize the subject and the background and it just apply AI algorithm to produce for a better bokeh effect shot. So I'll show you some sample really quick. I do find that to be true. Not like that Vivo V9 where they claim to have all these AI, but when I tested it, I actually didn't really see a difference. So this is a bokeh shot I took on the street. I don't know this dude. So this guy, if you're watching this video right now, please don't kick my ass. I, I did, you know, that I snuck a photo of you. So he's obviously a tough subject to take a bokeh shot of because his hair is fuzzy and it's kind of like spread out all over the place. But check this out. This is very impressive. The blur actually went around his hair almost exactly. And then you see that the background is blurred right next to where the hair is. This is a very nice bokeh shot. Um, definitely on the older Xiaomi phone, the Xiaomi Mi 6, definitely would not have produced something this good looking. So let's check out another bokeh shot. I was going around New York sneaking bokeh photos of people because you know, I'm here by myself. So this is another dude that I don't know. Took a picture of him. So you see the blur went around this red box and his arm and his headphones and beanie and backpack and it just blurred like the right areas. It blurred right here and it blurred right here. So that's very impressive because you know all these um, cheap Chinese phones, the budget phones that I test like from Blue Boo, Okitel, Doogie, they all say they have a bokeh shot but it's like that fake bokeh shit, the one that's like just a circle. This is real bokeh. This is impressive. So in addition to AI improving bokeh, Xiaomi says that the AI will improve low light performance and also just a uh, beauty mode. So now you know me, man. I don't really give a crap about beauty modes because you know I'm a dude. But I understand if you're if you're like a model, if you're a good looking guy, or if you're like a young college girl, you might be more interested in having your face beautified. So I'm gonna show you really quick. Oh, the selfie cam is still on the bottom, by the way. So you have to flip the phone. So those uh, rumors that the selfie cam was up here, they were wrong. Those are fake. So this isn't final software too, by the way. Um, so it might be a little bit buggy. We see a little bit buggy in this video. Xiaomi says, give them a little bit of uh, time. So the beautiful beauty mode, you just have to press this here. And then there are different numbers. You can go one, two, three, four, five. See, I don't really see a big difference on me, but you know, I'm just not a good looking dude. Like my skin is terrible. And look at that, look at my eyes are so beat up looking. I, I just didn't get enough sleep in New York. So this beauty mode is supposedly going to make a big difference. Maybe in the final software, I don't really see it yet, but I also think I'm not a good example. Again, because I'm not like a good looking dude. Maybe if you find like a pretty girl, it, it'll look amazing. Xiaomi says that um, they actually hired a professional makeup artist to teach Xiaomi's engineers, like the people in charge of building the software, in terms of teach them how to build a proper makeup mode and they apply that to AI. So that's another thing that AI can do but I can't really test that right now. So Xiaomi says the AI scenes can also recognize food and all that, which is what uh, Huawei phones can do now. I haven't really tested enough to see a difference, but I'll show you some photo samples anyway. It looks pretty good so far, so let's check this out. So here's a latte I just had. I thought the shot came out pretty good. So in general, this uh, camera's definitely improved over previous Xiaomi phones. So check out the dynamic range in this shot. Quite excellent. So you see the sky is completely clear. Look at the details in the clouds. But then at the same time, on the street right here where the shadow is, you can still see a lot of light, a lot of details. So this is just, this camera is impressive. Cause you know, Xiaomi, I'm not usually a big fan of Xiaomi camera. So even this shot, yeah, this picture is bad. My girlfriend's gonna get mad. <laughs> but anyway, this shot, it's a challenging um, photo because you're taking it directly under the sun, facing the sun. But even then, you look right here, you can still see a little bit of, um, you can still make out this billboard here and a little bit of detail. So dynamic range is, it's good. It's not as good as dynamic range on an iPhone 10 or Samsung Galaxy S9, 
but this is impressive and definitely better than previous Xiaomi phones. So here's another Wakanda Forever right here, Black Panther. So check out the detail. Let's check out the, the details in the Panther's eyes. So the camera is, is really impressive. Here's a food shot. So I'm excited to play with this phone more when there's a final software. Um, not, not a huge change otherwise, but enough of a refinement that this phone, it's, it's really worth considering because you're getting a Snapdragon 845 and Xiaomi phones aren't expensive at all. I don't know what pricing is yet, but definitely you can get this phone for probably like 400 bucks maybe. It's for Snapdragon 845. Um, otherwise, if you get a Samsung phone right now, it's like 900 bucks or you get the LG G7, that will probably be like seven, 800 bucks. One more thing I want to show you. Um, Xiaomi has introduced a swiping gesture to get around the phone because you see there's no navigation button. You can still use navigation buttons if you want, but you can use swiping gestures now and I like it. So let me show you really quick. So um, swipe from the bottom to go home or you swipe from the left edges to go back. So you see right here, let's go into Emily really quick. So you swipe like that to go back. One more time, to go back. Or you swipe from the bottom to go home. And if you want to bring up all the recent apps, you swipe up and pause. So this is this move is definitely a copy from the iPhone 10. This gesture here, the swipe and pause. This is definitely from the iPhone 10. But so far it's working pretty well. I like it. It's natural. I like swiping around, man. Like I don't yeah, I gotta say, like after using the iPhone 10, I don't want to have to press buttons on Android anymore. It feels a little bit outdated. I like these gestures. So I can zoom around, swipe that to go back, swipe to go back, swipe to go home. Really cool. So this is the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S. The I don't know when the phone is launching, although Xiaomi tells me it'll be really soon after the launch event. So probably within a week or two, you'll see pre-sales in China and then it'll be sold in other markets within a month. So maybe by like end of April, you'll be able to buy this phone. That's it for now. I'll be back with more. Please stay tuned for my Huawei P20 video coming really soon, maybe in a few hours. Thanks for watching.